Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another edition of Being a Sports Talk. And today, what I'm doing is the top, actually, no, the bottom seven sports cities in the nation, plus Canada. And uh, I don't think there's any teams on Canada on this list. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't know, I did a top seven list of the top sports cities. So if you want to know who's on the list, is it uh, Tampa? Is Tampa with the Rays and the, and the Lightning number one? Who's number one? Check out my BNA Sports Instagram or check out my last video. It's like a 33 minute video. It's not titled that because I had some other topics I discussed in that video. And then tomorrow we're going to do my best bets and Giants preview. Overall, just a lot of content coming on this channel. Hope you guys do enjoy. Let's get into the list. So, so basically, the Timberwolves were 19 and 45. They were the first overall pick, even though they had like the third worst record. Um, then the Vikings, they started off one and six, but they kind of sorted out, they went six and and nine. Yeah, the Wild, who are pretty much 500, 35, 27, and seven. Those seven are losses, so if you add that, it's like 35 and 34. And then the Twins were 36 and 24. They won the AL Central, but they got eliminated by the Houston Astros, and they got swept. You can't do that. <laughs> like that, that just can't happen. That, that can't happen. They're, they're on my list. You have some impressive, uh, you know, by the Twins and the, the Wild, but the Wild didn't do that many, so Minnesota is six on my list. Number seven is Atlanta. No, I know what you're probably thinking if you know baseball, but the Braves made it to the NLCS, didn't they? Yes, they did. 35-25, and 25, like a top five record in the league. Freddie Fre Freeman was the MVP of the league. I'm going to take a look at the Hawks. The Hawks have a bright future this year. Trey Young scored a gajillion points the other day, missed like two shots. And he took like, he took a lot of shots. It's not like he took like three shots, but he, uh, he only missed two shots the entire night. Overall, just, just playing wild, uh, for lack of a better term. You like that Minnesota pun? But uh, anyway, Atlanta... Uh, they also have the Falcons, who went 7-9 and nine last year, but are going to be 4-11 and 11 after tomorrow. This may be a cold take if they end up upsetting the Chiefs, but they're 11-point underdogs. I think it's fairly safe. I guess nothing safe this year, but Falcons, overall, just they fired their general manager. Matt Ryan, you see the guy kind of in shambles. I said at the beginning of the year, they're going to they're gonna tank, they're going to suck, they're going to be 4-12, and 12, or they're going to be 10-6. and six. A lot of people were picking them 7-9. and nine. I'm like... Are they, are they really going to finish 7-9 and nine again? Another season like the, the Tennessee Titans. So it's a, it's a give or take year. And they, they, they took or they gave. I'm not sure how quite that works. Uh, next on my list is Cleveland. Now Cleveland uh, with the Browns, they were 6-10 and 10 last year, improved this year. They're probably going to be 11-4 and four after tomorrow. They don't have wide receivers, so I guess they may be 10-5, and five, but it's still fairly impressive. That's more wins than they've had in uh, the since, since like 2002 or something like that. Uh, but they, uh, Cleveland also has the Cavaliers, who are perennially bad. They went 19-46. and 46. They were second-worst team in the league, and they didn't even get a good draft pick out of it, I don't think. They, were, they picked like six or seven, whatever it was. The Indians, though, they were 35-25, and 25, and they had an early exit in the playoffs. Again, to, I think it was the Yankees. I'm a Yankees fan. I should know this, but I think it was the Yankees. Uh, they finished second or third in their division, but it, that division is just bad at the bottom like can you just stop beating up on bad teams <laughs> like they they faced the pirates and their schedule was fairly easy it was one of the easiest in the league so they didn't really have to do much and it's it's still 35 and 25 if you picture the nfl you know i don't want to do the math <laughs> like i guess we'll divide it by four that's that's pretty much like a nine and 17 so it's it's not that great uh next on my list is phoenix they have the coyotes Coyotes, Coyotes, I don't know, uh, 39, 29, and 8. So it's below 500 team because you lose those eight games, you add it to the total. Uh, they have the Suns, who, you know, they went 8 0 in the bubble. You have an impressive coach. You have DeAndre Booker, or Devin Booker, sorry, who's uh, coming up on the scene. You added Chris Paul in the offseason. You're on the up and up. But they went 8 0, and they still finished with 34 wins. That's not really that impressive. They haven't lost a uh, regular season game in 270 days or something like that. That's fairly impressive. Uh, next, they have the Diamondbacks. They were 14th in the National League at 25 and 35. What happened to Cattell Marte? What happened to Robbie Ray? What happened to their future talent? What happened to like them being good? I don't know. Uh, next, the uh, Arizona Cardinals, who are going to lose today. Actually, I'm going to check the score in the game uh, real quick. Okay, now that's funny. I just when I went to check on the game because I have it like streamed live, it's 20 to 12. There's four minutes left. And uh, Keller Witherspoon just got an interception. So that's funny. Unless they called it back. I don't know. I just turned right to it. That would be funny if they, they come back in the game. But they have Arizona, who is now going to be 8-7 and seven and probably not going to make the playoffs. Go Bears. Number three is Washington. Now, the Washington has the football team who started off 2-5, and five, but now it's fairly good. They're 6-9. Uh, and nine, Probably lose tomorrow 6-10. and 10, So you could say not really that good of a season. 
or they're going to be six and nine after tomorrow. They have the Capitals went 20, uh, 41, 20 and eight, 50 in the NHL, but they lost to, I think the, the Islanders in the playoffs. Um, they're fading a little bit, but overall they, they did fairly well. 41, 20 and eight. That's really good. The Wizards 25 and 47. That's a middling team in Washington finished last in the NL East after winning the World Series. They, I think they might have been top three, four Washington in my list last year because they had the Capitals and Nationals, but they're not any good this year. 26 and 34, yikes. Um, <laughs> I, I had them making the playoffs. I had, I had them making the playoffs, but overall I think there was a little bit of a hangover, but you have some talent. You have Juan Soto, you have H- Harper, but I go based off on the results. Not a lot about talent. I'm going off the results, and the results didn't really... Uh, didn't really provide anything. But they, they were number three on my list. They were number one when I started the list. But then I realized how bad New York was. New York, they, they have a bright future. The Rangers, 37, 28, and 5. That's improvement. Islanders, 35, 23, and 10, which is improvement. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's crazy. And they lost to the Lightning, who ended up winning, blah, blah, blah. And they actually made it to my number two. New York is number two in my worst. Yankees, 33, and 27. They underperformed. They were injured the entire year. They lost in the second round of the playoffs. You also had the Mets, 26 and 34. Steve Cohen playing fairly well, but just decimated with injuries. The whole Marcus Stroman thing. Robinson Cano played well, but then he's on steroids. So I'm that's why I'm demoting him. Like he was on steroids. He was playing well, but he's on steroids. But you have some bright spots. Pete Alonso, we get it. Ramos, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But they're not a good team. Jeff McNeil, I think took a little bit of step back last year. I don't quite remember. But then the Nets, um, this is based off on last year, not this year. The Nets are probably going to be a top three seed. Calm down, Nets fans. 35 and 37 last year, got eliminated by the Raptors. It made it kind of close, had the biggest upset in NBA history almost. They were 19-point underdogs against Bucks and won outright. The Knicks, 21 and 45, have Tom Thibodeau, but they don't really have a solid core. Players don't have that guy who's just like, we can build around him. Hopefully, R.J. Barrett is. He's shown... Signs of that, we've shown a little bit of signs. Can we package that? I feel like the talent we have now, we have to package that for a player almost. Are, are these guys going to be able to do it? It feels like the LeBron James of the world end up winning the, the title no matter what. Even like Jimmy Butler, do you have to have a guy like that? It doesn't feel like we have that. Giants start off 1-6. and six. Last year, they were 4-12. and 12, But now they're 5-9, and nine, hopefully 6-9 and nine after tomorrow. The Jets start off 0-13. Now they're 1-13, and 13, looking to go 2-13. and 13. And Hopefully, they, they can beat the Browns tomorrow. Not hopefully, I don't know, but uh, they'll still get uh, the number two pick overall because the Bengals decided to win against the Steelers. But overall, you see the future. You see the future with New York. Last year, I think they were number one on my list. They might have been number two, but they, they've been bad. But you can see things starting to turn around. Hopefully, things turn around. This is New York. We have the money. Spend it, especially the Yankees. Spend it. Um, I don't care about Corona, Verona, anything like that. And number one, of course, it is Detroit. Now, <laughs> Let, let's let's do they have do they have a good team? Last year the Lions three twelve and one. This year they start off three and three, but ever since two and ten since then or two what I don't know I don't want I don't feel like doing the math. But they've been bad. They've been bad. Fired their head coach. Their defense has been playing even more with Matthew Stafford injury. Just overall, you don't really see the talent of this team. You don't really see the room going forward. They're gonna have to. Like Romeo Quarez on Trey Flowers because okay, he's old and slow. Um, and then their linebacker, Fred, Jared Davis, not good. <laughs> then their, the Jeff Okuda is not good. Like, do they really have anything here? And then J- Kenny Galladay is a free agent. You really think he's going to come back? Overall, just reboot, 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 reboot franchise. Top five pick. Um, I think you just trade down, strip down the entire franchise naked and restart again. The Pistons, 20 and 46. All you have is Blake Griffin, fifth worst record last year. Not going to be any better this year. Whole just drama. <laughs> Next, the Tigers. Hey, the Tigers were the bright spot in Detroit this year. They, I have done 23 and 35, but I feel like they've been 25 and 35. But overall, they, they, they were challenging the Yankees for a couple weeks. Like, oh, maybe the Yankees could be challenged by Detroit. Then the Yankees end up finishing like eight games better. And, uh, yeah, they, they're complete rebuilds. Miguel Cabrera, I don't know what you're doing. They got rid of Nick, uh, Nick Castellanos. Matt Boyd is, I guess, a decent pitcher, but he always has, like, around a four-year array. I don't really see much with this team. You know, Detroit fans, probably, they definitely know more than me, but they're, they're, they're at the bottom right now. The Red Wings, this is the icer, icing on the cake. They went 17-49-5 this year. They were the worst team by a lot. 17 wins out of the entire season. Uh, they went set base virtually 17 and 54, which is bad. And you don't need to beat a hockey fan to know. And they end up getting the fourth overall pick and missing out on the number one pick. And who, the, who got the number one pick? 
the New York Rangers. Yeah. The bold, bold prediction. The Yankees are going to be top three. I make the list so I can just include it anyway and I'll be right. But the, the, the Yankees may be top three. Or the New York may be top three next year based on all these teams, Nets, uh, Knicks not being horrible. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, did I miss anybody on this list? Is there a city that I didn't include? Uh, a random city in England? No, I, I'm not including those. But, you know, is there a city that you feel like was snubbed? Do you Are you like Anthony? Atlanta probably doesn't belong on this list. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.